In this video, I will show how to change SSH port on a Linux server. If you have a server with SSH service running on port 22 for a while, you will see large number of failed login attempts. This is because hackers are trying to break in with the brute force attack. To block this type of attack, you can change the port number to a higher port, so it becomes difficult for the attackers to scan and find the SSH port number. Another solution is to block the SSH port in the firewall and only allow authorized IP addresses to connect to the SSH port. We have an Amazon EC2 server. Let's go to the EC2 console. Click on Instances. This is our server. Click on the Instance ID. Let's SSH into the server. This is the IP address. Copy the IP address. Go to the terminal and the command is ssh this is an ubuntu server so the username is ubuntu at the right ip address then we have to specify the key i then my key is in the downloads folder this is the pem key for the aws server press enter to login since i am connecting for the first time it is asking for key fingerprint verification to accept the key type yes and press enter. I am now logged in as user Ubuntu. Let's become a user root with the command sudo su. To see the all open port, we can use the command netstat minus lntp. We don't have the net tools package installed. So let us install it with apt install net tools. Let's run the netstat command again. netstat minus LNTP. We have SSHD running on port 22. To change the port, you need to edit the file etc ssh sshd underscore config. You can use vi or nano editor. vi paste the path to the file name that is etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config here you can see the line port 22 we need to uncomment the line to delete the current character press x that will uncomment the line next we have to change the port 22 to some other number you can press the key w to go to the next word that is 22 press w next we have to change the word 22 for that you can press CW, C for change and W for the word, CW. I will put a new port 4422. This will be our new SSH port. To exit to command mode, press escape. To save the file and exit, you can use the command colon WQ. Now you need to restart the SSH D service, system CTL restart ssh netstat minus lntp we have ssh service running on port 4422 now to connect we, we can use the command ssh minus p then you have to specify the port name after that username is ubuntu and the ip address let's copy it from the aws console this is the IP address. Copy it. Now we have to specify our SSH key that is in the downloads folder and the key name is server ok.pem. Copy the command. Take a new terminal. Let's try connecting to SSH using the new port. It is not connecting because we have not opened the port 4422 in the firewall. Let's go to the AWS console. Here under security, you can see the security group. This is the kind of firewall in AWS. You can specify which ports to be allowed. Here you can see only port 22 is allowed. Click on the security group name. Here you can edit inbound roles. Click on the button, edit inbound roles. You don't need the SSH rule for port 22. You can remove this rule. 
because you are not using SSH service on port 22. Let's add a new rule for the SSH service. Click on add rule. Here you can leave it custom TCP and we have to enter our port. The port is 4422. Here you can specify who is allowed to connect to the server. Anywhere IPv4 means anyone on the internet can connect to. Port 4422 used by the SSH service. If you want more security, you can only allow your IP to connect to this port. For that, you can use this option, My IP. That will auto fill the your IP address here. In case you need, in case you need to do it manually, you can just type the IP address here. In this case, I will use anywhere IPv4. You can specify description SSH service. Let's save the rule. Now let's go back. Here the connection is failed. Let's try again. Now the now the SSH port is open on the firewall, so we will be able to connect. We are logged into the server using the new SSH port 4422. And that is how you change the SSH port on a Linux server. The steps are same for any Linux server. For Red Hat based distribution, instead of SSH, you have to use systemctl restart sshd. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.